Week five, already one game in the books, but let's forget about that game. Yeah, please, God, please. let's forget about it. <laughs> Uh, we are at the quarter post point of this playing season. Meaning, four weeks worth of narratives, a whole month of narratives in the narrative generating machine known as the National Football League have been built. I have sat down and come up with the five most burning questions I have One, two, three, four, for the five? next four weeks that I want answered over the next month. And that's my top five list for this Friday edition oh. of the Rich Eisen Show. Go for it, Mike. You just Del made Tufo the list. is out. So we've got Jay Felly hitting the button for the NFL Films music. Here we go. Number five on this list. Simple question. Are the 49ers again turning into the proverbial team you don't want to face or not? Okay. The stinkorama that we saw last night on Thursday Night Football made a lot of people forget about the stinkorama we saw involving the 49ers on that same field a couple of Sunday nights ago. Mm-hmm. As did, by the way, the way that we saw the Rams and the 49ers finish off week four with the Niners finishing off the Rams like they have done many times before in the regular season, last year's NFC Championship game. A different result bottom line is the 49ers went into last year's postseason as the proverbial team you don't want to face that's the team we saw on monday night to finish up the first quarter of the season are we going to see more of that 49ers next four games at carolina look out even steve smith senior said look out yesterday at atlanta let's check out those back-to-back games visiting the nfc south going all the way across the country and then home for the kansas city chiefs before they rematch the Rams in SoFi. That's a fascinating next month. Let's see the answer to that question. That's number five. The top four, number four on the list of burning questions and storylines for the next four weeks. Which AFC playoff team from last year is going to separate? Will the Chiefs separate from the rest of the AFC West? Sure looks like they could if they beat the Raiders to start things off. What about the Bills? The Bills are three and one. They've played three of their first four on the road. Very rough games and they've won again three of their first four. Can the Bengals separate from the rest of the pack in the AFC North? They play the Ravens on Sunday night. They could start there. And then, of course, there's Tennessee. Tennessee's 2-2, two two, just like Jacksonville, and now 2-2-1 two, two and one Indianapolis. Which one of those four teams will separate over the next month? One assumes that one will. I'm curious to see how the AFC picture plays out over the next month. Number three. Number three storyline for the next four weeks I'm eager to see play out. What happens when defenses catch up to Mike McDaniel? What happened? Because that's what happens in the NFL. Rod Woodson once told me this when I asked him all those years ago about a Miami offense called the Wildcat <laughs> that worked very well against the Patriots and that worked very well a bunch against a bunch of teams. Ronnie Brown made a Pro Bowl, for crying out loud. I asked Rod Woodson in that offseason, how's, how's somebody going to stop the Wildcat? He laughed at me. <laughs> and I'm like, why? The Wildcat Wildcat is, you know, easy to figure out. He goes, yeah, but no organism on the planet is more adaptive. No organism on the planet adapts better than an NFL defense. He goes, give defensive coordinators enough time, they're going to figure it out. Somebody's going to try and figure out Mike McDaniel, and the question is, does it happen over the next four weeks or not at all? I'm curious to get the answer to that one. Number two on this list. If the season ended today. Today. You know who would get MVP votes? Saquon Barkley. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Saquon Barkley would get MVP votes. You're right. Can over the next month. One of my storylines. Number two on this list of top five storylines for the next four weeks. Does Saquon have the legs for an MVP run? Because if the Giants go 3-1 and one and emerge 6-2 and two, and they're in the mix for an NFC East championship and at the top of the NFC and Saquon's still doing this and is leading the league and rushing halfway through, you're, we're not going to give MVP talk to that quarterback. That's for sure. Well, who's playing, by the way, this weekend? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Saquon in London. Can he keep running through? Can he run through the Packers defense the way that he ran through that tough Giants defense in their only loss of the first quarter of the season? That's number two. And the top storyline for me over the next four weeks in a narrative generating machine of the NFL that's already generated a ton of narratives over the first four weeks. Number one is how long can the Eagles stay atop the NFC? That's it. Because right now we're focused on this team. And they're undefeated. They're the last undefeated team in this league. And Jalen Hurts is a rock star in this league. And how long can they stay atop the NFC if the Niners are doing what they're doing? 
And the, can the Bucks start putting things together? The Packers are three and one. The Cowboys with Cooper Rush. The Giants are three and one. How long can they stay atop the NFC and stay undefeated? The next four weeks will tell a lot about that. They've got a game at Arizona this week. That's a fascinating one. And then home for Dallas on a Sunday night before there's a bye, and then Pittsburgh before they have a Thursday nighter at Houston. That's their next four. That's the narrative. Number one for me over the next four weeks of this NFL campaign. 